hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today is my Premier League predictions for week 12 um, you know international break coming up uh, it's a really uh, unnecessary stage for the teams are picking up performances now that I've got to take a two week break after these weekend fixtures um, you know it's you know I find it a bit unnecessarily uh, having international football during the season or so close to where the period even becomes busier in December. Um, you know, uh, obviously, you can see what teams we're going to start with. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, obviously, as I've said, the first game you can see is Cardiff versus Brighton. Cardiff lost to Leicester. Um, this weekend just gone. Brighton lost to Everton away. Um, look at both sets of teams. Um, you know, uh, let Cardiff, I think, deserves something out of the Leicester game, if I'm more honest. You know, um, fair play to Leicester for playing that fixture as well. Um, whereas Brighton played up that against Cardiff, I can actually see Cardiff uh, beating Brighton. Um, but for this one, because Cardiff only just came up, they're not weak by any standards, but I'm going to have to really turn up at this fixture to uh, get anything from it. Last time these two crossed met for this at a nil-nil, uh, and the commentators said to say after 10 minutes, so, you know, it's going to be really interesting. Um, but I'm going to go with a one-all scoreline for that one. But as I said, if Brian don't turn up, I will tip Cardiff off for the win. The next game is Huddersfield versus West Ham. Now West Ham might beat in Burnley 4-2. Um, West Ham picking up form. Now everyone remembers the West Ham Burnley fixture from last season. But Burnley have dropped down uh, ever since they've been in Europe. Uh, you know, it's one of those things I think with all the clubs. Um, but this fixture, I'm going to tip it off for a 3-0 West Ham win. The next game is Leicester versus Burnley. Now, as I've just said, Burnley are dropping. Uh, they ain't picking up the pace or, you know, ain't got the game to, you know, I don't know why. Um, you know, it's one of those things, I think. But, um, you know, if they, they got to start picking up somewhere, but I don't think this is the fixture. I think, yet again, Leicester are going to find it hard to play um, ever since, it would be their first home game ever since they the helicopter crash, um, you know, I know they lost their chairman, uh, so, but I'm going to tip Leicester off for the win, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline, with that one. The next one is Newcastle versus Bournemouth. Now, Newcastle, yet again, low in confidence, very low in confidence, but they won this weekend uh, against Watford, believe it or not. Yet again, Bournemouth are on form. But yet, what for one form and Newcastle managed to turn them over. So this decision don't make it any easier for me to predict who do I think the results are going to go to and who do I think is going to win. But I'm going to go with a 2 0 Bournemouth win. Um, you know, I think Watford didn't turn up. Uh, if Bournemouth don't turn up, yes, I can see Newcastle overturning them again. Uh, Bournemouth over, sorry. Um, but, you know. I'll go with a 2 0 Bournemouth win for that one because I can't see Bournemouth not turning up. Uh, the next game is Southampton versus Watford. Now, Southampton lost 6 1 this previous weekend to Man City away. Now, you know, it's going to be. I think if Watford turn up, it will be another sort of same result. But if Watford don't turn up and they did like they did against Newcastle, I think this be, I think this be a very interesting game. Um, so, with this one, I'm going to call it a 1-0 Watford win. I don't think Watford will go turn up, but I do think they're going to pinch it. The next game is Palace versus Tottenham. And as already know, you can see the pitch beyond me before I say it. Um, you know, Palace lost to Chelsea this weekend, just gone. Um, so, and Tottenham have... Uh, Got 3 2 against Wolves. Wolves nearly came back into that game. Uh, you know, with a 3 2 
win two cheap penalties Wolves had so but with this one I'm going to call it a one all draw I think Palace might pinch a point out of this one yet again it's another London club um, I think uh, Pochettino would have actually took notice of this Palace Chelsea game but as I said I'll go with a one all scoreline for that one I know it hurts for me because obviously if you don't know where I'm from I'm from Brighton um, the next one is Fulham, uh, Liverpool versus Fulham at Anfield. Um, Liverpool, yet again, pick up. Uh, won this weekend. Uh, I know they didn't, they drew to Arsenal. What am I saying? Uh, one all draw against Arsenal, but Liverpool should have won that game quite easily. Uh, going up against a very dodgy Fulham side. Now, Fulham and Huddersfield have not played. They played later on. So, you know, it's going to be, you know, I'll go to like, prejudge this one. But I'm going to go with the odds, and I'm going to go with a Liverpool win with this one. Um, and I'm going to say it with a 3 0 scoreline. Uh, the next one is Chelsea versus Everton. Um, as I said, Chelsea overturned Palace. Sorry. Um, and Everton beat Brighton um, I think Chelsea will win this one and I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline the next game is Arsenal versus Wolves now as I've just said um, Wolves nearly came back from Tottenham with a 2-0 uh, being 3-0 down and doing the 3-2 result excellent by Wolves I think you should have got a point um, obviously just a bit of a shame that you couldn't complete the comeback um, with this one I'm going to stick with an Arsenal win and I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline I think Wolves might have 5 defeats in a row to say it that way um, so the last game I'm predicting for this week and it's the last weekend uh, the last fixture of this weekend anyway is possibly the game of the weekend it's red versus blue blue versus red whatever way you want to call it it's the Manchester derby both Manchester clubs now with these two clubs Man City were in the shadows of United for a very long time a very long time now City have got their own identity and so have United the blue side so are blue red yes you know it's all split into halves now um, but I am going to predict a City win for this one and I'm going to go with a 3 you know, scoreline no disrespect to United, but I can't see them being City away from home. And two, City are dominant. Um, Man United play anyway, they, they do play. Uh, you know, I just drew 2-1 um, one, uh, one, one away to Bournemouth. But I think Bournemouth should have got something out of that game. Uh, you know, Paul Pogba, you know, it's going to be an epic game, I can feel it. But I, as I've just said, I tip City off for the win. Um, so guys, anyway, this is the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout for now.